The Gastro Plus Gastrolyzer is a breath analysis monitor that can help find the cause of your gut discomfort. A breath test with a Gastro Plus is quick, easy and most importantly non-invasive. It works by measuring the level of hydrogen on your breath that is produced when your gut breaks down food. Based on the level of these gases, it can help to determine if you have a condition such as a food intolerance, malabsorption or a bacterial overgrowth problem. The Gastro Plus has three breath testing options. A face mask breath test, a mouthpiece breath test or a protocol breath test. Gastro Plus Gastrolyzer can store up to 10 patients on the device. To add a patient, first click on the register, then click on a blank slot which will take you to a new profile. Click on the blank slot again at the top of the screen and use the keypad to enter their name or patient ID. Once you have entered this, click the save icon to register the changes. This patient can now be used for protocol breath testing and you will also be able to see a graph of their results. To edit an existing patient, click on the register and then select the patient you wish to modify. To change their name, click on their name at the top of the screen and use the keypad to edit. Once you are happy with the changes, click Save to register them or the back arrow to cancel them. To delete a patient, Simply click on the X whilst on their patient profile and click X again to confirm. Click Home to return to the main screen. The face mask breath testing option is for children or patients who struggle to hold their breath. Simply attach the face mask to the D piece and then the D piece to the Gastro Plus Gastrolyzer and press the face mask icon to begin the test. Breathe normally into the face mask and the reading will rise and stabilize on screen. When the test is finished, you can either choose to take another test, save the reading to a patient's profile or return to the home screen. To take a breath test with the mouthpiece, attach the Steri breath to the D piece and then the D piece to the Gastro Plus Gastrolyzer. Press the breath test icon to begin. You will be asked to inhale and hold your breath for 15 seconds before slowly exhaling into the Gastro Plus. The reading will rise and stabilize on screen. When the test is finished, you can either choose to take another test save the reading to a patient's profile or return to the home screen. The Gastro Plus Gastrolyzer can follow protocol breath testing for up to 10 patients at one time. Press on the third icon for protocol breath testing and select the profiles of the patients you wish to test. Next, select which protocol each patient will be testing for. The first test will be the baseline reading. Once the patient is ready, they can press the breath test icon to commence the test. If the egg timer displays, the sensor is zeroing. The patient will then be asked to inhale and hold their breath for 15 seconds before slowly exhaling into the Gastro Plus. The PPM levels will rise and hold on screen. The option to save the test will appear on the bottom right. This will save the test to the patient's profile. The screen will then prompt the patient to drink a substrate. You will then be on the profile for the next patient. Click on the breath test icon and repeat the process. If you need to finish a patient's test early, once you are in the protocol countdown screen, click on their name and click the save icon.
and click on the save icon again to confirm. To start calibration, click settings and then the calibration icon. The Gastro Plus will zero automatically while the egg timer is shown. When zeroing has finished, the first step of the calibration process will be shown on screen. Follow the on-screen instructions to finish the calibration process. Gas flow should be set to 0.5 litres per minute. If calibration has been successful, a green tick will appear on screen. You can now return to the home screen. If calibration has failed, a red cross will be shown on screen. Press the retry icon to reattempt calibration. If this problem persists, please see the troubleshooting section of the manual or call your local supplier of Bedfont products.